What's going on, Technology family, and welcome back to another episode of the Technology News Talk. As uh, we are very near uh, the end of the summer season, and we are getting ready for the fall season. And speaking of the fall season, it's that time of the year again for all my Universal Orlando uh, and Universal Studio fans, because Halloween Horror Nights is back, and and for and for this year. We are getting the the Exorcist, Chucky, Universal Monsters, Stranger Things, and The Last of Us as the uh, feature uh, houses that's going to be represented in this year's uh, Halloween Horror Nights of 2023. So uh, for the dates of this year, we'll officially start on Labor Day weekend of September 1st all the way to uh, November 4th. So uh, yeah, get your tickets now, and uh, and let me know if you guys are excited for this year's um, uh, uh, Hall- Halloween Horror Nights. And uh, and out of the uh, the five feature um, uh, IPs, let me know uh, what you are most uh, is uh, excited to see. So, uh, but that's our latest news for as far as the um, the Halloween Horror Nights uh, is concerned. Um, they, they will have uh, t- 10 houses, 5 scare zones, live entertainment, rides, themed foods, and a lot of merchandise uh, so you guys can get cop at on. And um, and I will leave uh, a link down below so you can guys uh, can check it out and see uh, the, what's going on for, for this year's uh, Halloween Horror Nights. And um, But that's all the, the theme park news um, that, that we have. And... Um, Let's get into our Main Street news uh, for, for y'all today. Is that is um, uh, Blue Beetle has suffered the lowest opening since uh, how, well, Wonder Woman 84. I mean, what do you guys expect? I mean, if I'm being real, not to uh, uh, not to say like, oh, uh, why, are you, why are you talking bad about your, the movie that you worked on? That, that, it's not about that. Because like I said before, the movie is uh, is absolutely uh, excellent and it's absolutely great. But as I talked about this uh, but before on my podcast, is that is like after the first uh, after the first Aquaman, the rest of the DCU movies went straight down the hill, and we don't know uh, well, well, why. Is it that people that gave up on the DCU after Zack Snyder uh, Zack Snyder left? Is it because DC gave up on now with the announcement of the new DCU coming and the and the already announced slate that, that that is coming? Like we don't know, no why the DCU has been getting a lot of uh, the bad numbers uh, lately. But um, all I get all I can say is that um, hopefully uh, Blue Beetle can be a a sleeper hit. And uh, and I flop at the box office. That's uh, that's the only thing that um that we can hope for at this point. But um, let's look at the the previous uh DC uh opening weekend n- numbers as as it pertains to the DCU. So the Flash opened up to fifty five million. Shazam: Fury of the Gods opened up to thirty million. Black Adam opened up to six. Uh, 67 million uh, uh that uh, that's a that's a close one uh high number there um the 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 suicide squad the james gunn suicide squad opened up to 26 million well that's because they had the day and day release with uh in theaters and hbo Max. and then the same thing goes for for wonder woman in 1984 uh that over the 16 million because uh they did the day-to-day uh releases um i don't think was it in theaters because I, I think it came out like at the end of 2020, so I don't think they did it in, the, um, in theaters. I don't think. Um, so that's why they probably got the low, low number there. But um, as far as Blue Beetle goes, um, it opened up to uh, the 25 million. So it, it all depends because um, the, the the film's budget isn't that really high. But um, but we uh, we have to see if uh, if it get break even. That that's what 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 we're looking for. But um, moving forward, 
Thor 5 is in the, the developmental reports. So uh, let's read this article here saying, Thor 5 is reportedly in developmental at Marvel Studios. A new quote from Tana Wheatley in the Thor Love and, Th Thor, Love and Thunder, the official movie uh, special book, Ignite a, a special online. On social media, My Time to Shine and Hello says, that the MCU sequel is currently in development. They they reported that Tyree is not yet linked to return, but he hasn't been ruled out either. Likely due to the writers and actor strikes, no contracts can be signed or nothing can be made official. Marvel fans are very rattled by the rumors after so long with no word on what's coming next uh, uh, to the franchise. So... We won't know what's going to happen between now and the future going forward. So all we can say is that hopefully this strike can end uh, this year and don't go too long as it as it already is now. But that's all we we'll, we'll, we can say or we can say for now. But um, moving forward, the streaming honeymoon is over. As a mandatory annual contract is coming. So, a lot of people have decided, like, oh, do I want to stick with cable or do I want to get stick with the streaming service? Well, let's uh, let's average up these prices here. So, we look at Netflix. Um, with the ad tier, is at uh, $7. The standard users of... Uh, Close to sixteen dollars, and then the premium is is twenty. Um, Amazon Prime standalone is nine dollars, and Prime Video with with Prime Shopping as well that's fifteen dollars. Disney Plus with the ad tier is eight dollars, and with the premium tier premium tier with no ads is fourteen dollars. Apple TV Plus standalone is seven dollars. Hulu with ads is eight dollars. Ad free version is eighteen dollars, and uh, Matt, um, with ads is ten dollars, without ads is uh, sixteen dollars, and then the ultimate plan is twenty dollars. Discovery Plus is with ads is, is five dollars, and then with the one without ads is seven dollars. Paramount Plus, um, with ads is six dollars. And then with, uh, without ads is ten dollars, and then for P and then for Peacock with ads is six dollars, and then the premium uh, tier, uh, the uh, most must uh, you can either get with um with ads or without ads, and that is twelve dollars. Now, with they do have bundle deals between Disney Plus and Hulu, and then with um uh, uh, Max and uh, and Discovery Plus. So you have like uh, the two bundles there. And then also uh, Paramount Plus is shared with um, with Showtime as well. So that you have your little uh, um, bundles there. But um, to average up the prices that we just mentioned, so that average price number is a hundred and seven dollars. I mean, it's not bad. Like uh, it's still cheap from what you're getting from like your regular cable box and, uh, and all that other stuff. So. Um, yeah, uh, people will still uh, focus on streaming and other like um, uh, streaming cable um, services like Fubu TV, uh, Direct TV Stream, and like YouTube TV and all that other stuff. So I don't think the honeymoon is over, but I will say just uh, just keep an eye on what's going on. With these streaming services, and uh, they might raise the prices, all that stuff. Like, what is worth keeping, and what is not worth keeping. So, that's all I can say about that. Blue Beetle director is held to to make a action comedy film with uh, Jason Moore and Dave Bautista. Hmm. Let's see what Deadline had to say. Dave Bautista and, jo and, and Jason Moore. Are teaming up with Blue Beetle director Angel Maso on the Reckoning Crew, uh, the bat, the buddy action comedy that would have set up at MGM. Deadline can confirm. So, 
They already got this uh, in, in, um, in de developmental. But the question is, can they film this? And, like, can they get the uh, the SAG or waiver form? Can they do that? Because if they can't, then that will be, have to be on hold until, like, the, the writer's strike is in. So hopefully we get some uh, new updates on that and uh, what the storyline is going to be about. So it looks exciting to me. But, uh, yeah, I am very excited for it. And um, to, to continue on with the story, um, Batista and Memor were both in the talks for the film. Scripted by the Warrior creator John Tr Tr Trupia, long before the SAG Afron strike, Trupia's deal was negotiated and closed, and his script was submitted. So that's a good thing. Um, a good thing that the, that the script was submitted before the um, the strike had happened. But if there's some rewrites need to be written, then that could be a problem there. So, uh, so. Like I said, hopefully we get some more uh, the, the details on, on on that situation, and um, I, and then continue on with the story. Um, the plot details are under wraps for now, but Batista and Moore sold the pitch to MGM following a four bitter battle in the fall of 2021, as we were first reported. Jeffrey Fresh and Moore's collaborator. On the Netflix the Discovery Canada series uh, Frontier will also uh, will also produce so it's a very very good good, good news there, and uh, like I said, hopefully we get some more uh, even more news on that. And um, moving on, Barbie has passed the Super Mario Brothers for the number one domestic box office film of 2023. Man, good grief! But let me just say this. The Super Mario Brothers is still number one as far as the worldwide box office. So let's see if Bobby can get thrown uh, Mario from that. But we'll see from there. And um, to, to, uh, to read the report from Joe Blood saying, Sorry, Mario. It's Bobby World now. Pure deadline. Barbie will overtake the Super Mario Brothers movie to become the year's highest grossing movie at the Dimension Box Office this Wednesday, this past Wednesday, with the hell of uh, 574.2 million. Man, that's crazy news to, uh, to, to hear from there. And um, uh, moving forward. So, Avatar, the last Bender production update. Shows that it's near completion. So we got a Twitter from the uh, uh, tweet from the Avatar, the last banner official uh, name, but going by at, at Netflix underscore Avatar saying, Opening a new chapter. The Sharan stays of orchestra and core bringing Avatar, the last banner score to life. Salah is really good, but um, let me tell you something. And Netflix, I hope you're listening. If you don't give us a masterpiece and you get uh, deliver us a uh, deliver us a garbage like they uh like uh, I don't, I forgot who produced that uh that movie but uh, but like I'm saying if you produce us garbage like the, the one we had last time we're gonna have problems. That's all I'm gonna say. Yep, but um, other than that, folks, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I told y'all this was going to be a, a, a pretty short uh, episode, but um, hope you got your news worthy uh, from there. And um, and with that in mind, uh, let me end this with, with a uh, with a shout out note to um, of course um, if you guys been listening to all the previous um. AEW uh, Dynamite Collision and Rampage uh, re uh, review show with um with my uh, co-host and uh, and friend Lillian Benford. Um, we just recently had our world premiere for our uh, feature film Empathy on last Thursday. And um, let me just say this: uh, we want to give you a, a special thank you shout out for those who have followed our social medias and all that other stuff. They keep us with um. 
with the, in the making of the film. So um, again, we want to say thank you to all of our supporters and and, and everyone who lives in the uh, Atlanta area that came out for the world for the world premiere. I want to we want to say thank you for uh, for everything and um, and we are so proud of how the uh, the movie came out and uh, we are proud to uh, uh, to accomplish what we was able to to, to accomplish and uh, to all of our cast and crew. Uh, cheers to everyone and cheers to, to all of you. So uh, again, uh, thank you so so much. And um, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, let me know in the comments uh, comments below uh, what are your thoughts and opinions. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell when new episodes are uploaded. If you're watching me on YouTube, and um, if you're listening to me on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, or any other podcast streaming platform. Don't forget to follow me there as well. But um, other than that, folks, this is Trico, and I'm signing off. Peace.